So first thing you want to do is you want to put your debt over here in these green boxes. So we're going to use a mortgage. So in this case, we have a $280,000 mortgage. It could be maybe you only have $180,000. So we'll just punch that in just to show you, and all the numbers will change. But let's go back to that $280,000 mortgage. So whatever it is, we'll punch it in. And we're going to assume, in this case, it's 5%. You can change that. And the term is 360 months. Okay, that's a 30-year mortgage. Okay, so you put your debt in here. The other thing that matters is in the green box, which is your cash flow. This is really important. So in this case, we're going to put somebody in here who has a $6,500 a month income and a $5,500 a month expenses. Okay, so here's your two numbers. And what this is, is this is the net income is all your take home money. Okay, so it's the money that will go into your checking account minus the money that's for your expenses. So this includes your mortgage payment. So in this case, you would have what's known as a free cash flow of $1,000 a month. That means after all is said and done, you could be putting $1,000 a month in a checking account. Okay, so we have the $280,000 note or mortgage, and there's four ways you can pay this off. Here's the standard way that the banks teach you to do. It's the blue box. So in the blue box, if you do what they tell you to do, congratulations, in 30 years, you'll pay off that mortgage, and you'll pay $261,000 in interest, almost double what your house cost. Congratulations. Now, some of the gurus on the radio will say, well, then make an extra principal payment. Okay, you can do that. Every month, you're going to put some extra principal in, and if you did for $300 a month, and you could change this number if you want, but if you put an extra $300 a month, you will pay this mortgage off in 20 years, 20.92, and you'll save $89,000 in interest. The problem is, if you need that $300 back, see how you're sort of crimping your cash flow here? You can't get it back. So if something happens in life, and you need that money back, you've got a problem. That's why we developed this basic velocity banking. In the velocity banking model, you're just changing the way you handle your cash flow so you would have the full $1,000 available. And you would pay this mortgage off in 13.25 years and save $155,000 in interest. And if you take our advanced velocity banking class, you could actually pay this off in 11.75 years, save $190,000 in interest, but look at your cash flow your cash flow would actually go up dramatically. So let's look at the return on investment just by learning basic velocity banking. Now, if you were to get our essentials classes, the essentials classes, which are 1997, and save 155,000 in interest, your return on investment would be 7,600%. Folks, there's no way you could get 7,600% on any other investment. And remember, this is just you getting out from under the banks. This is the hole you dug yourself into because you just didn't know what you didn't know. So let's go back and make this even better because the key here is cash flow. Cash flow is everything. So in this case, let's lower your expenses because you've taken our tax and legal class and you know how to cut your taxes. So we're going to lower it $300 a month. So instead of $5,500, let's look at $5,200. Now, watch the numbers. You're at 13.25 years and $155,000. Just by lowering your expenses $300 a month, and this is your taxes, folks. We're not talking about cutting food expenses here. Your number would go from 13.25 to 11.42, and you would save $169,000 instead of $155,000. But it gets better. Because instead of just lowering your expenses, let's increase your income. Now, could you find one person a month who could benefit from what we're teaching you here? Well, if you do, and they get the essentials classes, you would earn a $1,000 commission. So let's change your income from $6,500 to $7,500. And watch the numbers. You're at 11.42 and 169. You're now 
paying off that mortgage in 8.5 years and saving $192,000. And if you understand our advanced banking velocity, which is really used for your investments, you would not only pay this off in seven years, save $290,000, but look at your free cash flow. You would have dramatically more cash flow for your life instead of giving it to the banks. See how powerful this is? So there's a tutorial. You really only have a couple variables here. You can change these as you wish, right? And I'll give you another little tidbit here. Let's say that it's, if you had bad credit, you couldn't get a 4% mortgage or a 4% line of credit. Let's say it was a 10% line of credit. It doesn't change the numbers very much because it doesn't matter so much about the interest rate. What matters is the cash flow. Now, remember, there's a lot of variables in here. I'm giving you this for demonstration purposes only, and your individual results will vary. But this should give you a, a good idea of relative to what you're doing now, what you have for potential.